We are the Air I Breathe, and you're, you're watching, watching Punk, Punk Videos, Videos Rock. Rock. What's up, guys? Robert here, here with PunkVideosRock.com. We're hanging out with the guys from the Air I Breathe here at Chain Reaction. How are you guys doing, guys? Pretty good, man. Good. Good. Doing pretty good, man. Having a good time in uh, Cali. Just doing good. <laughs> doing, having a good time. <laughs> Before yeah. we start, do you guys mind introducing yourselves and what you guys play in the band? I'm Cam Baptista. I play guitar. Uh, I'm Colin. I play bass. I'm Tony. I'm the vocalist. I'm Greg. I play drums. I'm Jesse. I play lead guitar. <laughs> so you guys are on the Young Guns tour right now. How's the tour going on so far? I know you guys just started a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah, it's been about a week, right? About about a week, and it's been pretty good so far. Good good draw so far. It's definitely uh definitely since we hit Cali about three four days ago, it started to pick up a lot. The uh, Midwest was good, but Cali's where it's at right now, at least. Absolutely. Cool. Uh, how different do you guys see tour now that you guys are a sign a sign band? It's so much better. This is definitely the best tour that we've ever been on. Yeah, we we did a couple tours last year uh, by ourselves as an unsigned band, and they were definitely a lot different. You know, you get paid when you're in a signed band. You get fed when you're in a side band there's there's yeah there's always there's always you know yeah and plus you're on tour with other bands that are also you know good drawing bands so it's a lot of fun hanging out with them every day and stuff like that so it's just much better you guys just recently signed to uh rise in velocity right yep so uh how did you guys go about the signing artery hit us up and they were talking to us a little bit so we did a full u.s tour met them out in cali did a show for them talked to them for a little bit drove to texas while we were in Texas playing a couple shows, you know, mm -hmm. we got hit up by uh, Dave Shapiro from Velocity. He started talking to us, and it pretty much happened really, really fast. Nice. That's he hit a good us dude up to work with as well. Yeah, yeah. he hit us. He's the best at what he does. I don't Absolutely. care what anyone says. I will Absolutely. fight someone. He's the best at what he does. Once you have Dave Shapiro, you're set. Absolutely. <laughs> Hell yeah. So yeah, he hit us up, and he's like, "Hey, this is Craig and." He's in this email, and we want to give you an offer, blah, 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 you know, and it was, there we, there we are, yeah. yeah cool. We went and recorded what a CD. Was, what was your reaction once you guys heard from that? We well, out. Yeah. We who wants to tell the story? Who wants to tell the story? <laughs> All right, we need a full story. All right, we're driving <laughs> from our friend's house. We stopped at the night before. We're driving to Austin, Texas to play a show. Uh, we get like we talked to Dave a little bit that more that morning, and then we got the email sent to. I actually read it on my phone, and it was from Craig and Dave, and they're like, "Yeah, you know, we want to offer you Velocity and Rise." We were freaking out. <laughs> Him and Colin and Jesse were in the front seat. They couldn't hear what was going on because the windows were down. So like, what's going on? So we pulled over, got out. We were just like throwing stuff, just like jumping on each other. We, we were so we stoked. Hugged. The side of the we highway. hugged. It was like winning the Super Bowl. We these hugged. random, these we random, hugged. these <laughs> random guys came outside. They thought our van exploded. <laughs> we were on someone's front yard. And they're like, what's happening? We're like, oh, oh, we're just in a band and we just got signed. We're so sorry. Like, Get out of here. We don't care. You guys are currently working on a debut album, right? Yes. Could you let us know about the record? What's the process on that? Uh, we, uh, we went and recorded it a couple months ago at the Wade studio. Uh, recently it got mastered by Joey Sturgis at Foundation. So it's pretty much done now. Uh, we're just working on ways to promote it, let everyone know about it. It comes out June 7th. We have a single coming out in about a week or so. On Facebook. On Facebook. So yeah, that's pretty much it. How it's titled? Great oh, it's titled Great Faith and Fools, if I didn't say that already. And that's for the single or the album? Oh, no, that's the album. The single is going to be called Deliverance. That'll be out in about a week or two. How different is this album from your previous work? Um. It's got more choruses. Uh, more shredding, definitely more shredding. More shredding. It's uh, it's just much, we tried to literally touch, like on our EP we did when we were unsigned, we kind of just went in one direction, like heavy, but like on this one we literally tried to cover every genre, not just stick with like the heavy scene or just go straight, you know, like pop or like not pop but like screamo and like mainstream with all that stuff like we literally tried to cover yeah, every it, it's genre. more mature it's more it's mature much more yeah. mature even though we're all extremely yeah. immature <laughs> definitely yeah a lot more guitar work vocal <laughs> choruses no okay drums. <laughs> no drums on the record just mature vocals and guitars no drums <laughs> no drums so going back to your single that's coming out could you let us know about the single what it's about uh, it's just pretty much about, you know, someone struggling with himself. He's seen, he, you know, he's seen himself in the past couple months and he's seen that he's changed. And, you know, he, you know, you know change is not always is good. And it's pretty much just, that's what it's about, you know. Mm -hmm. He wants to go 
He just wants, he just, you know, I don't even know. Back to how he was. Yeah. But, like, he changed for the worse. Yeah. And he's just, you know, seen what's happened to his life recently and just, like, can't live with it, honestly. So, yeah, right. that's what the song's about. Uh, you guys uh, got confirmed for Bamboozle? Absolutely. Yep. Uh, what can we expect for that from you guys? A good time. Man, it's going to be a great <laughs> time. Yeah, we, it's going to be a lot of production. Fireworks. We're gonna have <laughs> some loge lights, dancers, dancers. Greg is gonna spit. Fire. I'm gonna spit fire. Lights. Apparently, I'm coming out of the rafters. I might be naked on stage. Depends on how well the draw is. Costumes. Yeah. Costumes. No, maybe. No. no. Depends. No, there's not gonna be costumes. <laughs> I don't. I don't. No costumes. You guys no looking costumes. forward to any bands or artists that are gonna be? Uh, Mayday Parade. Wiz Khalifa. Wiz. Wiz, Wiz yeah. Wiz Khalifa. And um, Oceano. They're extremely metal. Yeah. Well, uh, we honestly love them. Um, 30 Seconds to Mars wrote that one famous song, so it's going to be good. To see <laughs> That's going to be good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys were on Silent Library. Yeah. Yes. Uh, how was that for you guys? A good time. <sighs> that uh, that was. Van. It was good for yeah, some of it us. Bought us that. Yeah, it bought us the van yeah. and trailer. Whatever. It was a great time. I'm stoked that they had us on that. Uh, I mean, what else can be said? What was the hardest thing to do on the show? Eat carrots. Tell, explain the process. <laughs> explain the challenge. Um, well, one of my challenges was I had to eat dog food. So uh, a sculpture. A sculpture. Food. It was a weird combination of wet and dry food, and <laughs> it was just absolutely disgusting. And I couldn't do it. When you watch but. it, you'll cry. You'll cry. It's you feel, you feel it's passionate. Pain. He wanted the money, you, but you, you just literally eyes, you can't I do it. It's, he definitely took it for the team. Yeah. <laughs> he was so sad afterwards. He was like, guys, I'm so sorry. Because we went in there and we're like, we're not losing anything. Because we need a van. We need a tour. We need so to get out there. you guys got a van from the yeah. show. We won about four grand. So, wow. bought a van. So it's real. Yeah, it is real. <laughs> the money you get is fake. The money on the actual show is not real. <laughs> not fake. They write you a check. They're liars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the money like... The guy, Zero, he is an awesome guy. He is the man. He eats raw meat and drinks apple cider vinegar. Wow. He wears those weird toe sock shoes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was so So after, after this tour, uh, what do you guys have planned out for uh, the next, for the rest of the uh, 2011? We um, come home for about five days after this tour, and then we hop on the Northern Gold Tour with the color morale for all those sleeping close to home. And then... Um, come home, the CD drops, and then everything after that I can't say, although we can promise the summer, the so tour sick. is huge. It's, be huge. it's, it's huge. Be huge. It's very long. We're hitting everything with huge bands. Yeah. Can't say anything. Get stoked. And our CD will be releasing. And our CD will be released. Buy it. If not, yeah. talk to us. Cool. Yeah. Do, you guys, <laughs> do you guys have any last words you want to give out to uh, our viewers and your fans? I mean, just, you know, check us out. Buy our um, album. Buy our album. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on, us on tour, please. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, we're here to have fun. Just come say hi, whatever. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Bring Sour Patch Kids watermelon. <laughs> if you're watching this. If not, just...